Okay, Firebird here. This is going to be a fast, just get to the point tutorial on how to get your first map and first two rooms, not one, into Portal and have them working. Now, at the very top left, you're going to see File New. And now your, your, your four graphs may be, well, off like this. So to click, just click Control A. That'll center. And this top left is your camera. The top right will be your top-down perspective. You can ch change them the X, Y coordinates. The side view on the bottom right is your side. You can, you can change it into the sides, up and down. Now the front bottom left is basically another side view. It's the same as the side. It changes it from from side to side to up and down. The same as the side, but in another perspective. So here you have a plain old empty room. Click on the block tool, which should be uh, Shift B. Now, I, a player is naturally 120 blocks tall, or basically that's what a set room height is. Most editors, map makers, basically go 128 tall. This is also what most textures are. If you notice, textures are 512 by 512 mostly, but the texture shift is normally a fourth of that making it 128. So you see one, two, three, four. A full white graph bar, the uh, the bold line would be a 512 by 512. Now a basic room would be for Portal 2, I would say, is 256. Tall, like I said, bottom would be tall, and the top right would be your top down perspective. See the room right here? You see it here? That's basically a straight hall. So let's make it into a room. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it's double the length of the player. Now here, on the right, you got your texture. Click browse at the very bottom left. You have filter. Click tile. Type in tile, and this is simply easy to do because all you have to do is look for the tile you want. Mm, let's go for something simple and clean. Um, that looks simple and clean. Now here's another thing about tiles. Whatever you pick. It's going to be going along with if it's placeable. If I were to click this underground black tile, it won't work with portals. But if I were to click uh, the default clean one, wall white tile, it'll work with portals. So I'm just going to click this one, meaning the player won't be able to place portals. Now that I've placed my te got my texture and my placed my selection, you click enter and it creates the wall. Now you go to your selection tool, shift S, right click on your block that you made and click make hollow. I like negative eight. It creates the wall outward so that you still keep the inner wall that you created. Now we have our wall. You can click you can click Z with your mouse over the camera and you can look at it by using WSD. You can move around with your cursor. You might have some glitching problems with my cursor in the video right now, but don't mind that. Now we have a basic room. Shouldn't be able to place any warp portals in here. So now, we want to place a, another hall right here. Right there. So, we click on it and click make hollow. Oops, not make hollow. I mean ungroup. Control U. So now you click on the wall that you want to adjust and zoom in using your mouse wheel or your bars at the bottom and I'm going to change this wall into another room so there we got a little opening just enough so grab your block tool and adjust it back so now you can look around make sure now there's going to be point file loads problems. Right now, if I were to save and test the map right now, it won't even work. 
because there's a there's a big huge gap that I can see to the void. This is called the void. Anything that's out there is the void. The easy fix to that is to take your block tool, create a big huge square all around your entire map, and then give it the texture skybox. You want to need tools, type in tool in the filter, right there, skybox. Easy fix, but we're not going to do that. So let's create a hall now. You see my thing is still wanting to create that big huge room. Easy fix, click outside. Let's create a hall like that. Now you see, it's not working. We have to go move it down on the side view. See right here? Both of them are the side views. I can change both of them and it'll work. So here's another thing. Going to your uh, map, grid settings, smaller grid, bigger grid. You look right here. You're going to have these brackets. They increase the grid size. Now look at the grid. It's going to smaller, smaller, smaller. Now the bottom right, snap to grid 8. That's according to the grid that I negative the hollow. So I am going to go in, shorten this all by one, except for nothing. Alright, so I'll shorten it by one. Now I'm going to click enter. Now I'm going to click it and make it hollow, negative 8. Now I'm going to make it ungroup and I'm going to click this block here that I don't need and delete it. I don't need it. Now you see, we didn't need to do it on this side, so we can fix that by moving it over. Whoops. Make sure you click on the squares to move them over. Now we got this side to worry about. So we can also fix this simply by clicking all three of these by holding your control button and it'll click all of them. Now we gotta fix to that. So now we have to make another room. Got, gotta do this up fast. Don't, don't wanna reach 15 minutes. Click delete on that one. And now you're going to create basically another room just like this. So I'm going to just go around clicking every single one of these and then I'm going to copy and paste it this is copy and paste hold down your shift button and then drag it I'm gonna increase the grid size put it back there then I'm going to lower it so I can get some fine point changing done now you're gonna want to rotate it right you're going to want to rotate it. To do that, you want to flip it horizontally because that's exactly where I want it. Exactly. Flip horizontally. You can't rotate it like 45 degrees from where I know. I'm not the best. But flip objects horizontally and vertically <laughs> is basically a 180. So here we got the two rooms the two rooms alright so I'm going to adjust some even more and I'm gonna copy and paste this wall oops okay click on it make sure you got it clicked I'm gonna drag it right here now you see it's off so I'm gonna fix that just by doing that now I'm gonna drag it down here so I realized I need to put that down one now I'm gonna click on the texture tool shift a go to browse go to tiles or tile not tiles and then I'm gonna click on this one it marks that the player has to put a portal there now to do that you just right click on the wall that you want it. You see? If I go over here, it's still got the same texture. If I want to adjust everything, I just click apply 
and if I go barely inside this wall you'll see that it's changed too so I'm gonna click Control Z because I don't want that even though they're not going to see the outside <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same thing right here on this wall and I'm going to push it over just enough for one portal so I'm going to find it over here on the other bars go to my block tool create a block just enough right there now you see it's got that texture so I'm gonna have to click here and do a good thing about this is every texture you've used in that session is going to be right there at the top so now I'm gonna go back to the texture over here and I want to change it to another I want to change it to the simple clean one so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna create a wall here now look 128 by 64 that's perfect room for a portal click enter now I'm gonna create a wall Another wall, yes. I'm gonna go browse, find a nice texture. Hmm. Um Hmm. Let's let's pick let's pick this one. It's not gonna look good, but it works. So let's create a wall. Okay, I'm gonna change it into a weird looking wall. I'm gonna do that. And then that. Oops, I didn't cop, uh, do that. So now, now I'm going to copy and paste it. Then I'm going to copy and paste it one more time to the end of the room. Actually, that's not going to look good. Let's delete that. And let's drag it to the end of the room. Alright. Now. I'm going to. <coughs> Sorry, sneeze there. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. There we go. So now we have our room. To win the game, to win this map, you have to get to the other side. And you can see a little problem right there, so I'm just going to fix that. Simple fix. This also needs to be outward. And now it looks good. So now we need a, the player. So click on the entity tool, Shift E. You'll start as Info Player Start at the bottom right. And you just click where you want it in the camera. Boom. Now he's not going to look exactly where you want him. So you just click here, you change the angle right here. Well, it's not the right one. Well, right there. I ah, yeah. Now your player is not going to start with the weapon. So go back to the entity tool, go to the objects, and click it. Now type weapon. Now you're going to see weapon portal gun, right there. Click it, and then you're going to do the same thing. Click in front of your player. Now you're going to have to change this because that might not, he might not exactly spawn with it, but you want him to pretty much spawn with it, so just drag it, and then drag it into him, and that's, technically, you won't even see him pick that up because you're going to start the game with that pretty much. So there it is. That's it. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. Comment on what you want me to do next. And then, yeah. I'm going to show you the view right now.